This presentation provides information on air traffic control flight procedures, including background on how and why we make changes to the airspace, what is a procedure, and how and why they are modified. This video will provide specific examples for the Central and South Florida region. The National Airspace System is a complex structure for commercial aircraft, general aviation, military aircraft, special use airspace, prohibited airspace, drones, and even space vehicle launches. The airspace is a three-dimensional structure in the sky that allows controllers to manage the safe and efficient flow of aircraft between airports. Just like the roadways around our country, many of the pathways leading to our busiest airports were old and inefficient. By building new and more predictable flight paths, we can improve the safety and efficiency of the operations in the airspace and on the airport surface. The creation of PVN flight procedures are one of the key elements of modernizing our airspace. They are similar to the network of highways, but for aviation. Making improvements and changes to the system is a complex process involving many different key stakeholders. This process can take as long as two years to ensure factors such as safety, environmental, and airspace complexities are met. Historically, airports were constructed based upon the prevailing winds with the aircraft departing and landing into the wind. Aircraft arriving from other airports are sequenced and merged into the arrival stream for the destination airport and queued to land. In complex and busy multi-airport regions, such as the Central and South Florida area, controllers continuously manage, space, and separate arrivals and departures throughout the day. Modern technology and procedures make that job more safe and efficient because the separation requirements can now be incorporated within the procedure. This allows controllers from multiple air traffic facilities to efficiently space and sequence aircraft properly for arrivals and departures into multiple airports at once. Aircraft will have the most efficient routes off the ground, reducing airborne delays such as holding patterns or speed reductions. Departures and arrivals have numerous crossing routes where aircraft separation must occur to ensure a safe and efficient operation. This can now be incorporated into a modern technology procedure. A traditional descent is like walking down a flight of stairs. Based on air traffic controller instructions, the pilot descends and applies speed brakes, then levels off, then powers the engines up, then descend and applies speed brakes again. The cycle repeats itself until the plane is on final approach to an airport. By contrast, an optimized profile descent, or OPD, has built-in speed and altitude requirements at various points on the route. This information is programmed into an airplane's flight computers and allows them to essentially glide down to an airport on idle power and controllers don't have to issue instructions after clearing the plane to begin its descent. That aircraft is safely separated from other aircraft because it is flying that procedure. A performance-based navigation, or PBN flight procedure, is a route through the sky that connects airports to airports, safely segregates air traffic, keeps flights clear of obstacles and terrain, and provides safe passage through the skies. Creating and publishing a PBN procedure in the National Airspace System follows a well-defined, multi-step process that begins with a specific need, benefit, and purpose. A team of air traffic professionals, operators, airports, and other aviation stakeholders design a procedure that will then pass through quality control checks to verify compatibility with aircraft navigation and flight control systems prior to the flight. With quality checks and training complete, the procedure is flown to verify the accuracy of the design and identify possible modifications. Once the new procedures are implemented, FAA safety teams monitor for any issues, then old procedures are completely replaced. This video provides a basic understanding of how the air traffic control system works in the Florida airspace and how and why the FAA is modernizing the National Airspace System.